What's up guys, John here from Titan, and today I want to talk about something that gets brought up a lot by male patients in particular, and that is erectile dysfunction. So erectile dysfunction is a very common thing. A lot of people don't want to talk about it, right? They're, they're either embarrassed, their ego, whatever it may be, they might feel less of a man. So they don't, they just don't want to talk about it. They don't want to talk about it with their partner. They don't want to talk about it with a medical provider. You know, they're in denial in some circumstances. Um, they just don't want to hear it or feel about it or even care. So let's talk about erectile dysfunction. So erectile dysfunction, it affects over 30 million guys in the United States. Maybe more because that's just the people that are talking about it, okay? The second thing is, is it's not a part of aging. So it doesn't matter how old you are. Now, the research does show that if you're over 40, you're in a higher risk of having erectile dysfunction. But that's not because of aging. It's usually because of health issues. And that's one of the main things that causes erectile dysfunction. So poor circulation, blood flow, that, that's affecting your erections. That's one of the biggest ones. Now being obese, this is another high risk category for erectile dysfunction. You know, being obese, over 25 on your BMI in particular, you're at a very, very high risk for erectile dysfunction. Now there's other things that affect erections, okay? So let's talk about some of those different ones like alcohol, drugs, okay? Stress, anxiety, high cholesterol, diabetes, heart disease, smoking all these different things and there's a lot more okay there's just some of the different ones i want to name because those are the most common things that people deal with every day or are, are doing okay and when you're doing these different things or have these different issues going on this is not only going to affect your health but as guys it's going to affect our reactions and this can affect us in a lot of different ways in our life and by having erectile dysfunction it could cause issues with your self-confidence it can cause issues with your partner per se because not performing they want to know why what's going on what's the problem is it me that's you know, that's what the wife and girlfriend usually say you know at that point you might feel even more embarrassed You're like man what do i do about this like i just don't know what to do i don't know why this is happening to me so when you look at the different things that you're doing in your lifestyle or do you have some of these different health conditions and if you do have some of these different health conditions like i named you know talk to your medical provider you know, talk to somebody that can actually help you with a needle enhancement because it's a part of, of li your life, right? The quality of life is to have good sexual function for yourself, for your partner. You want to make sure that you're good to go, okay? So when we talk about different medications, I'm not talking about drugs, I'm talking about illicit drugs, I'm talking about medications like for depression. These different medications can cause erectile dysfunction and it's not your fault. You may have serious depression and you may need these medications. So you feel all right, okay? So if you have to take these depression medications or antidepressants, then at that point, you need to talk to your medical provider about possible libido enhancement. Something that's gonna help you, you know, have erections and be confident in the bedroom. Now, sometimes it really doesn't come down to erectile dysfunction physically, but some people have erectile dysfunction mentally, okay? And it might be an insecurity or something that happened to them previously in life some sort of stressful event that can cause problems in the bedroom, that's not your fault either. Now, if you guys are just tired of your partner or you're angry at your partner and that's one thing, that's a whole different story. But there was something that happened in the past that could be mentally blocking you to having good sexual function, you may need a libido enhancer. So don't be ashamed. That's the big point out there. There's people out there that can help you guys. At Titan Medical Center, we can help you guys. We have all different powerful combinations, you know, for all different types of people. No matter what your, your status is or what your health status is, we can help you guys so we can improve your quality of life. Because you want your partner feeling good, you want to feel good, and you want that self-confidence there, right? So we can help you guys and we can provide that. So if you guys are looking for libido enhancement, if you guys think you have erectile dysfunction and you want to talk to somebody, then you guys should call or text us at Titan. The number is 727-389-3220.